Hey YouTube, this is Roy. It's Snap on Monday. So let's see what kind of toys Jesse's got. How are you, Jesse? I was Hi. asking uh, Jesse we hit the, what those little transformers were on the floor. <laughs> oh, that's inside one of our 220 amp welders. So did they use that as a, like a demo? Well, yeah, just to show the difference in between them. And I honestly don't know a lot about them. I just kind of learned last week that we do have a solid copper core in them. And they're just a little bit heavier duty. Like I've seen inside of a couple Millers before and some Lincolns. And so I guess that's what's inside of one of those mm -hmm. big machines. Yep, it's all inside the, like the 250 SL, all inside there. So uh, I was gonna ask you, Jesse, those, um, I guess like these little transformers here, it almost looks like uh, one of those old fashioned stereo systems. Well, then, yeah, I know what that's for, it's to help regulate electricity so your weld don't fluctuate. Like if your electric gets a little low, it actually stores on some the continuous weld. I'm sorry, I'm not very good with welders, I just don't know much about them. I don't know much like I'm about. I'm learning as I go. I don't know much about welding either. I'm supposed to take some classes from Mr. Mike. Well, I know about welding. I just don't know about our welders. Like, I'm just not very familiar with them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of welding, uh, Jesse, the um, uh, we were going to ask you out of curiosity. You know how Snap-on has the big tech truck. Mm -hmm. it, so, it, in the in the not so distant future, um, do you think that the, you'll go around with the tech truck to show the guys? Yeah, I will sometime. I don't have an appointment scheduled right now with them, but I'm supposed to do it twice a year, so we'll see whenever he gets an opening. It, it was super cool because they had these big welders, yeah. and then when the truck parked, it had the sides yeah. that open and had the big. It's nice because you can actually demo a welder while you're there. We've got our tire changing machines, balancers, induction heaters. We can actually play with them before you purchase them. So uh, when they came a few years ago, uh, the, the driver, he said, uh, well, Bray, I'll take your Ingersoll Rand and I'll just set you up with one of those. <laughs> so uh, I told my wife, I said, in the future, I'll probably do that because it, it is nice to have one of those big snap-on compressors. Do you know a little bit about our Snap-on compressors? They are, I think they said third cheaper to run than our competitors. And the motors, the Snap-on motors that run your compressor, they're the um, uh, the Baldor, the old motors, those, those are a lot better. They they last for many years without... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they got auto blow-offs for the water. and They're really good welders. They're expensive, but they're mm -hmm. good. So, uh, Viejita, we were, I, I was going to ask Jesse if he could show us what he's got new for this week. I, this uh, week, I got our new tire pressure gauge, our TPGL. Oh, that's pretty GDL cool. GDL2000. I really like how the head rotates on it. And it comes with a locking uh, air fitting for the valve stems, and it's got one for the dualies, too. This is neat, Jesse, because this little hose almost looks like uh, they would use like um, racing cars for the fuel lines. <laughs> yeah, the braided the hose. Braided. I got a couple for new lights in. Don't have one open because I sold it earlier. But they actually take the removable batteries. I got... So uh, those are like flip lights that open like yeah. that? Or they're like a flashlight? They're new style flip lights. And it does have the flashlight on the end. But the nice thing about those is it does have rechargeable batteries. Let's so let me see the number. The, the on part it. number. So uh, I think uh, I think Jesse, they make two of these lamps. They make like a small and a longer one. Yes. So this would be the smaller one. I have a couple of the combo pocket light kit, which is the three lights with the charging base that's, on there. That's this one here. Oops. There's the. And they're heavy, they're not. There's a TPMS5 back there hiding that's on sale. Um, it's our newest tire pressure monitoring system thing. I got a BK5000 dual bore scope in. I haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, I got the welding jacket that's on this month's flyer and two eggs. Oh, nice. 
things. Yeah, this is super nice. We the, the uh, it's got like the uh, snap-on see <coughs> like the skull and the little. Lo There's the part number there. I got. I told the wife that this is a beautiful box, Jesse. I don't know if Mr. Mike saw that, but he would fall in love. Oh, he seen it a couple of months ago. He loved the uh, orange. Jesse has a sale on the uh, impact speaking. Yeah, mm -hmm. then I got the 320 SIM kit in, which is 3 eighths of an inch, all the way up to an inch and 9 sixteenths, and deep impact sockets. Got a couple of torque wrench and 3 eighths combo packs left. The, we showed last week that one, Vijito. This is a little different. This has got the, I think, oh, because this is the 3 eighths. So see, there's the part number for that. And this comes with the chrome. Um, what do they call that? Um, it's just got a click type wrench. The, the, so it's got the, the phone, APEC. The click type. And just a click type. This is super nice. I wish when I bought mine they would have had this set because you're actually getting two. Mm -hmm. And plus they even left little spaces for your batteries. That That is super nice. It, it, it's like, it, it makes you feel like Snap-On's thinking ahead of what you really need. Yeah, and if you do get an ATEC torque wrench, don't store the batteries and always remove them. We, we, take, we, take, them, we yeah. take them out. The um, and I guess you have a sale on the on the picks, Jesse, because you have a lot of them. I can't remember if they're on sale or I just ordered a bunch of them. I know I was running low, so I definitely ordered a bunch. And then there's a uh, like a little duffel bag on the shelf. Oh, Maybe. that's a cooler. Oh, this is cool. So to put your uh, sodas and stuff. It's a backpack style too, so you can put it on, carry it. So this would be, oh, cool. Nice. They, they think about things so, so much that they even have padding for your... Uh, first thing I got in, I got a couple of these ratchet and screwdriver kits. It comes with a couple bits, the two shanks, but it does come with a nice case. And it's set up where you can put your bits in there. If you have one of our snap-on big kits. So that just inserts. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you got one case for everything. And it, that's a neat little case we heat that because if you notice it's even got a little window. This mm. is kind of neat, Jesse. It's got a baggie with the logo. What is that? Uh, really, to be honest with you, oh, that's a Harley Davidson kit. So you can use that to hook to a scan tool for Harleys. Oh, for the motorcycles. Yeah. Very nice. I mean, a lot of times on the Harleys, you gotta hook a scanner up to bleed brakes and stuff, so, or run codes. And then uh, you have a sale on the helmets, too. The one on the left, I know it's on sale. The one on the right, I think I just put it with it. But the one on the left's the one with the light that comes out on the side, or a new one. Mm-hmm. I think that new one, I don't, I'm not sure. I think it's on the flyer too, on March's flyer. I think so too. And Viejita Jesse's got the belts too, the snap-on belts. So these are the ones that don't have the buckle so you don't scratch the car. Correct. Mm -hmm. So Jesse, like uh, uh, I was gonna ask you, like uh, uh, my scanner, like I had the Solus, uh, Solus Edge. Mm -hmm. So what was the scanner that took over that one? Like the the was Legend. Oh. And I don't have one up there because I sold it. Mm -hmm. That's uh So the the Triton D would be like the old um So like the Versus scanner. Like the, the Versus. It has a two channel lab scope and then it's a very nice scanner, intelligent diagnostics of course. And then the top of the line one I got there's a Zeus. Right mm -hmm. now, I sold my Apollo and I sold the Solus, so I got a free star. Okay. So, um, uh, uh, George, when he came to see me yesterday, Jesse, he was telling me that he's got an old computer and he recently started working on the um, BMWs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, he's trying to organize shop. He uh, recently bought a, a brand new uh, Benpack lift. 
Yeah. And uh, he says, uh, eventually I'm going to need a, a, a scanner. The scanner's very nice to have. Mm -hmm. it, it pays for itself. When we got ours, um, um, Josh told us, he says, when you scan X amount of cars, it'll pay yeah. for itself. That's ideal. The tools need to make you money. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, out of curiosity, Jesse, you think Mr. Michael buy the... Uh, Never know with him. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh huh. Because uh, the, he's fixing his shop like super yeah. nice. On this toolbox, I got. If you buy a toolbox, I'll give you a free welder. So, like, and he really wants a welder. So, wow. Work out good. So, like, so like if a customer was to buy this, what? Because uh, on the welders you have the different sizes. Which one would it be? I think I put that one with a 140 SL. So, so it would be this 110 volt or 110 volt. So, so did you see that, Rijito? That's that's a nice one. This one. So I guess if you bought the box, this comes with it. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Um, a, a, a few years ago, Jesse, when uh, when the uh, tech truck deal. came, they they showed me something like this. But the driver, um, when he showed me, I don't know what this is called. It's a MIG. But the new one, uh, he said it, it, was, it was flexible, so you could actually fold it. Yeah. And he said, and I works. sell a lot of those to the shops that have uh, mufflers yeah. because they have to go around the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we sell a lot of tank torches, too. I, I personally like a TIG, but... So, uh, I don't know about welding, so if you use a unit like this, would you have to use, like, the tanks? Yes. Like, I don't even know if that one you can use flux with or not. I'm sure you can, but the carts, these carts that they're sitting on, is actually made to hold a tank. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, Rahita, they uh, made it to where you could put your, your hoses, extensions. Yeah. It's all contained unit. Very nice. But um, folks, uh, that's it for now. Um, thank you for um, thank you for being with us another another day on Monday. And we would like to thank Jesse for letting us film on the truck. He showed you, you know, the the promos that he's got on the welders. And if, if you guys remember, whoever buys the box gets this little unit in the metal. And uh, thank you much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next weekend. Thank you much. Bye.